my favourite chef of all time, and he really is, Colin McGee, a fantastic cook. And today we're going to be cooking a very unusual fish a lot of us may not have heard of or even seen. Sure. Thanks for the introduction to me, though, eh? Pleasure. This is a beautiful flatfish. This mm. is called brill. It's New Zealand flatfish. Right. Um, and the reason why I'm cooking this here, it's just got so much flesh, yeah. sweet, quite a firm fish as well. All right, I'm going to show you a little uh, recipe that you'll, uh, you'll enjoy. And it's easy, easy, easy. So let's get into it, Colleen. OK, Justine. Mm -hmm. Got a nice hot tray here now. Bit of grease proof paper on that. Right. All right. A little bit of salties. Ah. You want to season right. both sides season of the fish. Season it, season it. A little yes. bit of olive oil. Yep. OK. Stop the fish sticking. OK, so essentially what we're going to do with this, we're going to... It's warm on the bottom and we're going to grill it very, very hard on the top. OK. OK, so here she comes. So... That's going to feed two people, or for three people. Oh, that's a, a three and four people. Three There's four a people. kilo of fish. Yep. yep. OK, so we'll pop him on like yep. that. I think the biggest thing is oh. it is inexpensive. inexpensive. Um, and if you know how to use it, then people may be inclined to go and, and try something that they don't know. So that's why it's important chefs like you, Collie, coming onto the show and showing us how to eat this fish. Well, hopefully after this here, it'll be, uh, you know, give it a crack at home. Yeah, so, so far, quite easy. Quite easy. Mm -hmm. A bit more oil on it, please. Oil on the top. Yep. And then, Collie, this just goes under the grill. That's right. Mm -hmm. Scorching hot grill, hotter the better. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just tuck this paper in underneath the fish right. so it doesn't burn when I put it in the salad. Very good tip. How long do you think it's going to cook under the 15 grill? 15 minutes. Flat fish won't take long at all. Too easy. Brill's in the oven. Yep. Takes about 15 minutes, as I said. Mm -hmm. Now, let's whip up a little pippy, buttery, creamy shallot Ooh. sauce to go along with it. It's got my name all over it. Uh, Butter, French shallots, white wine, cream. Oh, It's just the best sauce, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Simple, but very, very tasty. I'll get butter in there. We'll just melt that. OK. OK, and then we'll get a couple of these little shallotties in it. OK, so how many have you got there? Four shallots. Four shallots. Slice thinly. Basically, what we're trying to do here is just soften the shallots. Yes. Sweating them is the term. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get as much flavour out of that their gorgeous sweet shallot as possible. Fantastic. Lots of butter mm. in there. Those shallots are just softening. OK, you do want to let them cook down a little bit, though, just yes, like this. Yes, because the, uh, the sauce itself doesn't take long at all. Probably okay. a five-minute sauce. So tell me a little bit about these gorgeous pippies. Beautiful pippies, my absolute favourite. They're delicious as is, but... Having it as a sauce on top of a fish, very fancy, oh, Colleen. You're a bit, You're a bit of a fancy kind of guy, though. Oh, a bit extra, why not? There's two of us in the kitchen, let's have a bit of fun. All right, sure let's thing. get these in now. All right, in they go. Ooh, good oh, there. like that sizzle. Okay, lid on. Okay. Just gonna steam those pippies open, and then all the pippy juice will just go into that butter. Mm. And then we'll just add a little bit of wine, cook it for a minute or two, finish with some cream. Don't forget the cream. <laughs> Very important. It smells fantastic. Oh, it <laughs> certainly does. All right, so this is the tricky part. Just need to get that on there. Okay. And then slide this off. Hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Now, the skin, mm. I, like, I like taking the skin off. All right. So just peel it ever so gently like this. In the really old school, Restaurants in France, they bring this to the table and they fillet it, or what you're doing there, taking the skin off in front of you, and it's such theatre. Um, and if you do this for your guests at home, oh, how beautiful. What a showstopper. <laughs> I've also seen it being done in, in England because this is a, a very famous fish that you can get in Europe. Um, all cold waters, just like you say, in New Zealand you can get this too, which That's is really, right. really nice. And the meat, look how juicy that is. Just and fantastic. And it's firm. It's a very firm yeah. fish. And I see what you're trying to do. You're, you're being delicate with it because you want to keep it in its shape. I mean, it's such a prized fish. So leaving it whole, bringing it to the table in its entirety is the aim here. That is exactly what I'm doing. And that's just some little bones on the yes. side. It's just easy just to, to pick away. They just come away. Now that the fish is perfectly cooked, yep. they just come away like that. 
And what I love about this fish is you're going to cover it or blanket it in that gorgeous vongole or pippi sauce. So it's like a little surprise underneath it. A little surprise when you dig into it. Very nice. All right, let's put this together now. I'll just finish it off. Just saying, just need to chop a couple of chives. Can do. A garniture over the top and a bit of extra flavour. These little pippies are cooked lovely. And a little bit of sauce over the top. Oh, yeah, divine. So we'll show. Got to show the fish off as well. Here we go. How much chives do you want, Colleen? That's plenty, just right. Nice work. Now, we're sort of very close. Bravo. I mean, you're really showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> just flood the plate a little bit more if oh, I really want to show off. You are there showing we go. off because that is just a beautiful fish done in the most elegant way. People would pay good money for that in the restaurant. They certainly would. Oh, you're the best, Uncle Colleen. Easy. Thanks for your help, Justine. <laughs> no, thank you.